What about the cultural principles? As the cultural warrior, are there certain things that have happened to America? You know, we talk about young people being entitled. Uh, you just talked about race relations. Has something shifted? with respect to our cultural foundation, and if it has, can that be repaired? The country's drifted left under President Obama, no doubt about it. It's drifted left, uh, whereas gay marriage 10 years ago was, uh, you know, something most Americans didn't want. Now they do want it. Legalized narcotics, same thing. Um, but, you know, the country can drift back, <laughs> and that has happened all throughout history. Um, but I see it as uh, social liberalization, I think, is here to stay to some extent. Uh, I hope it doesn't get too crazy because then people are going to get hurt. Um, what would be too crazy? Legalization of heroin or something yes, like that? Yeah. Yes. I yeah. mean, if you open the floodgates to uh, telling children that narcotics are okay, inebriation is good, uh, then you're going to have a country that's going to be in serious trouble because yeah. those things will be embraced by younger people. Uh, make it easier for them to acquire narcotics, tell them it's okay to do it, uh, which is what you'll do by legalization. Um, you're really opening up a door for uh, the foundation of the America to crack. I want to talk about your book, uh, and before we do that, before we segue into that, it seems to me we talked about this charismatic leader who America's longing for, I think all Americans are. Would that have to be tough love or, or, or uh, I don't know, some sort of, how do they seduce all of America into doing the right thing? Because I think a lot of this is incumbent upon the individual looking in the mirror and saying, I've got a role to play too. I think it's the JFK, uh, you know, so you're asking a very good question. And as a historian, I would point to John Kennedy as, as a person, if you could have that personality of glamour, sense of humor, uh, larger than life, kind of looked like he was always in control, even though he wasn't. Um, that's the kind of person you need. A little bit younger, um, not Reagan-esque, because he was very ideological, Ronald Reagan, but more of a moderate person who could persuade and say, look, this is what's best for everybody. Come along with me. But you really need somebody with showbiz uh, qualities to do it. Reagan had that. You put like nine boxes up there. You've got about eight of those checked off. Who? <laughs> you. <laughs> Everything but the person? young person. I mean, you've got I, I, larger you know, than I'm life. Only, I'm only 42, <laughs> Charles. You know, I, this job ages you. Um, look, I mean, I, my job is to watch all the powerful, and I'm going to keep doing that job until I retire. Right. I'm not interested in, in politics. I, I could have done it a long time ago. I have more power now than I, I think any politician other than the president has to change things. Right. I mean, like Kate's law and Jessica's law and do, and do things like that. But I do believe that there uh, are politicians, but they have to be bold and fresh. I mean, they have to really get out there. Kennedy could do it because he was a rich guy, had his father behind him. You don't have that now. But if you're looking for a politician to galvanize, he would be the guy to look to.